Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Kelsey if you are new here and today I'll be doing a get ready with me chit chat life update. Just letting you guys know what's been going on, you know, checking in with you guys. And of course I'll be doing my makeup at the same time so if I forget to mention any makeup product I'll be listing it down below in the description box so you guys can check that out. So without further ado let's get into this video. Y'all, my eyebrows look so crazy. Oh my goodness. During this quarantine, during this whole pandemic, I've been trying to groom my own brows because your girl has, I've had some bad experiences and I just don't trust people these days. So I'm just letting them, you know, do their own thing, you know, do they thug dizzle. You know what, in this makeup look, I think I wanna do the eyes last. So let's get into the skin, honey. To prime my skin, I'm going to use the Ilia True Skin Radiant Serum Primer. We're going to see how this looks. I've been wanting to update y'all, talk to y'all about, you know, life because, you know, life can just be so much, y'all. I feel like these days, um, you're more prone to... You know be in more of a rut or you know have more challenging days um, than others but don't allow that to consume you I've learned you know so far in 2021 do not let your negative thoughts consume you and take over your entire mood and your whole mindset you know remember that you're not alone and there's always resources out there for you you can do online therapy meditation have a journal write down your thoughts and your emotions have a gratitude journal um, write down your affirmations and repeat those to yourself every morning and also you know just taking care of yourself like working out um, treating yourself, take a long bubble bath, do something for yourself that makes you feel good, okay? That's key. For our foundation, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 345. Okay, life update. I quit my old job and I'm currently working in a new position in the field that I love. So for most of you who do not know, I graduated from an HBCU, got my bachelor's degree in strategic communications and a minor in marketing. So I always wanted to be in the communications journalism field. That's just something that always I've always gravitated towards. So I feel like my previous job was definitely a like stepping stone to where I am now. I quit my previous job because I felt like, you know, it was time for me to leave. I was ready to grow and do different, bigger things. There were some times that I felt a little down and in a rut, but I've always tried to, you know, keep motivating myself and doing the best that I can possibly do in the position that I was, I was in. So when I go into my next job, I can say I did 100%. I put my all in that previous position and I'm ready for this next step. And if you guys want more in-depth, you know, day in the life type of videos of like my daily everyday routine, let me know in the comments down below. Because recently I've been very interested in watching um, other influencers who are on the same career path and um, field as me. So I found that find that motivating as well, seeing their everyday routine. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. So before I leave this whole topic, I'm gonna remind you guys to always stay motivated. And if you have a dream for yourself, for your career path, what you wanna do, like stick to that. But make sure you're following the steps towards that dream. At the end of the day, you are your number one fan. You get to where you are because of you. And guys, don't forget that, okay? So to conceal, I'm gonna use my NYX Born To Glow Concealer in the shade Caramel, I think, yeah. So next, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my fitness goals and my health journey. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I've lost a significant, well, I say it's, it's a good amount of weight over the past two years. 2018, 2019, I weighed 160. Y'all, I was just 
it was just a lot thinking about it now it makes sense like i wasn't eating healthy i was working out like crazy but i was still like overeating and you know eating junk food so and i was expecting to lose weight but it all starts with yourself like i had to change the way i thought about food thought about fitness and like my overall look on my health before it was like i'll eat healthy here and there but it was like majority unhealthy food to be honest you know i had a gym membership i was working out pushing myself really hard and like i still wasn't seeing results but it honestly took like of course like a whole mindset change to really see a change in my body like when i think of diet i think of restricting myself from eating certain foods and eventually going back to it and just going in i actually had to like say to myself like okay girl if you want to see results you have to put in that work so as far as food goes i really pay attention what i consume now and you know how is this how is this meal benefiting me and how is it going to give me the energy to do what I need to do for the day? Or, you know, how is it going to sustain me without um, affecting my health, making me feel sluggish, making me feel tired? There have been days where I have went in on some french fries, but I try to not make that, you know, the end all be all in, you know, my health journey. You know, it's all about progression. You know progression over perfection that's how i see life and if you're not sure where to start on your nutrition fitness journey there's so many free resources that you can use for instance youtube there's so many free like videos workout videos on youtube and um, nutritionists that will help you to reach your goals so I currently follow a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Heather Robertson. She has the best, to me, workout videos that I feel like, you know, I can follow and I actually see results. Like, she's the reason that I lost so much weight um, along with eating healthy. I also find what really helps to stay on track of my fitness and health goals is to write it all down in my journal. I write down all the food that I eat and workouts that I plan on doing. I'm currently following her February workout plan. I like to print this out and hang this on my wall. Of course, you know, check off the workouts that I completed just to, you know, pat myself on the back. It just feels good to check off your fitness accomplishments. So that is also very helpful. Think of your health as like a journey. Success and results aren't gonna come overnight. Um, if it does, that's very unhealthy. I currently think about working out, me loving and taking care of my body and just treating it. And I feel like it's my duty to take advantage of this time to really focus on me and how to better myself inside it out. Y'all, it's been a minute since I cream contoured. <laughs> it's been a minute. I feel like cream contouring is like, that's when you really want, want a snatch look though. To set my under eye, I'm gonna use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Next topic, I wanna talk to you guys about like spiritual and personal goals. I feel like it's very important to, you know, have some type of connection to something that's bigger than you. Recently, I've been wanting to get deeper into Christianity, um, having a more of a deeper relationship with God and not, you know, have it just so surface level, you know? To set my foundation, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder. So, you know, every morning, you know, I wake up, I pray, I'll read the Bible, scriptures that, you know, motivate me and keep me grounded in what I'm doing, you know, in my purpose in life. And also acknowledge the blessings that, you know, I have. In this world, we get so caught up in what others have. We don't sit and look around at our own situation and see like how blessed we are and like see the things that we take for granted 
and not appreciate them. To bronze my skin, honey, we gotta warm up this skin. I'm using my um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in the shade Hotel Aris. And if you guys are looking for some personal goals to have for yourself, I can give you some of mine. This year, I'm, I'm gonna make it a thing to learn, acknowledge, and grow from my mistakes. Cause sometimes we make mistakes and we don't acknowledge them. We just like brush them to the side or, you know, keep it pushing and then we make the same mistake and we think it's not us, it's somebody else or we trip it. No, it's important to acknowledge your mistakes and take accountability of your actions. But for real, there's a lot you can learn from yourself, good and bad. Second tip, have a gratitude slash affirmation journal. I find that writing down you know not just your goals but words of encouragement you know writing down what you're grateful for the blessings that you have in your life really changes your mindset and makes you it humbles you in a way that makes you thankful for life you know also third tip try fasting i'm currently taking 20 days out maybe 21 to fast desserts and alcohol it hasn't been easy y'all it hasn't been easy but i really want to like you know take away something that i know that i don't need and see how it affects me taking away something that you do not need and honestly ground you in the situation that you are in and makes you have like a whole different perspective of your life honestly Lastly, my personal affirmation is to seek love, joy, and peace in all aspects of my life. Let's get into blush, honey. I'm going to use my NARS blush in the shade Orgasm X, a really cute coral pink blush. So since I'm currently working a new job, I honestly want to budget so i currently found a website that is really easy for me to stay organized and track my financial goals as well as like personal goals monthly goals it's really good for me to see you know my money and where it's going my savings tracker expense tracker just to see where you know i'm putting my money into and how much i'm saving so my goal this year is to really budget my money and keep track of you know of course my spending because your girl likes to spend her money let me know in the comments down below if you plan on traveling where are some places that you guys are looking into to fill in my brows i'm using the morphe micro brow pencil in the shade mocha and i'm gonna try to fill in the tail of my brow with the anastasia dip brow just gonna conceal underneath my brow just to lighten that up a little bit i want to do like a smoky cat eye i did years ago on this channel i kind of want to recreate it and like revamp it so i'm gonna take this shade right here called credit which is a dark brown shade. I'm just gonna use that to line the top lash line. These days, y'all, I've been really going for simple, easy looks that requires little to no energy, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna use um, an old trick that I learned here on YouTube. To take a piece of tape and put it on the edge of your eye to create a sharp cat eye effect. Now I'm just lightly fluffing that out with a flat eyeshadow brush just to give it that smoky effect. I'm gonna add ginger. Um, which is more of a neutral brown and I'm just gonna put that blend it right on top not adding any more product because I don't want this to be too smoky I still want it to look a bit natural 
Now I'm just connecting that wing to my outer lower aisle area. Next, I'm just gonna blend that out, smoke it out a little bit with that flat brush. Now I'm going to try and repeat the steps on the other eye. Next, I'm going to apply my Holy Grail Drugstore Mascara, and this is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I feel like this was everyone's first mascara, honestly, because it just changed the game. So, lashes are on. I'm going to go straight into the lips. I'm going to use the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nutmeg. As you can see, like, I use this to death. Next to my ColourPop BFF3 Lippy Pencil, this is my fave, too. It's different because other brown lip liners for like women of color are really like dark and muddy looking, but this really has a nice warm undertone to it. So I won't be using a lip gloss or creamy lipstick today. I wanna go in with this Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade True Story. You know what, to add some dimension to the lip, I'm gonna add the Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in the shade Commit, which is like a neutral pale nude shade. I'm gonna add that to my, just to the center right here. Y'all thought I forgot about the highlighter, nah, nah. For highlighter, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. You really have to be careful with this because this highlighter will go everywhere. To set my makeup, I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Look, your girl, your girl's running out. This spray is really good. And of course, I'm going to add a teensy weensy bit of highlighter on my inner tear duct area. Just to give our face a little pop. Okay, you guys, this is the completed makeup transformation. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was really fun talking to you all and just giving you guys a life update, sharing some motivation tips, and just giving you everything about my life. It was a lot. If you like these types of, you know, chit chat videos, let me know in the comments down below and I can, you know, get something cooking in the works for y'all because, you know, we gotta keep this content coming. We gotta keep it rolling. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this, girl. Thank you all again so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you on my next video.